Hi there, I'm Dr. Harrison Mungo. I'm a marriage uh, therapist and a marriage counselor. I'm a psychotherapist and I also do a lot of different things. I've been married for 27 years. I really have a passion for marriage and that is why I'm talking to you today. Uh, I have seven uh, beautiful kids, my wife and I. Uh, the youngest is 14 and the oldest is 25. And uh, we have gained some experience uh, throughout the last 27 years and we have been doing a lot of marriage counseling and, and I really see how uh, issues can arise as a result of how we portray marriage and how we portray uh, our spouse. You know, the other day I was at the gym and, and this uh, um, older gentleman, he's about 60, 61 years old, he was having this conversation with me and he says, you know, like, uh, I've been married three times and I've been uh, separated or divorced for like eight months now. And my last wife, he said, was just like, uh, just like the children, they're like rocks. And he went on to, to, to start sharing about some of the issues and he was just venting. Um, and I allowed him to vent and afterwards I said to him, you know, interestingly enough, um, there is always purpose with a rock. And the purpose I see is that although the rock may appear to be hard and it may be uh, like strong and big and whatever you may have the character of a rock, that rock can be crushed and we can make that rock into sand and you can plant a nice garden and make it refreshing. And uh, it, was, it was so funny as I was speaking with him, he says, you know what, I don't want to talk to you anymore. He, did, he wasn't so uh, looking into like solution, he was looking more at the problem and looking at his, uh, the, the marriage as, as being rocks and looking at the whole concept of marriage as being rocks as well as his children. So, from that lesson, I started, I started to teach him a little bit about the concept of how anything in life that may appear to be hard, it can become easy, especially in a relationship. And some of us right now, you may be listening and saying, yeah, you know, I can see a few of those things. God's intention is not for you to be in a marriage that is unhappy. God's intention is for you to be happy in your marriage and happy in your relationship. But it takes some work and it takes you adjusting the lens that you see your marriage to make, to see all the possibilities that are there. And one of it is if you are married right now, you say, you know, it does look hard and it does look like a rock. Look at the possibility of what you can do to make a change, what you can do to make a difference. You can, if you keep pounding at something that is solid like a rock, it will eventually crack. And, and sometimes the issues from past, some of us have abused, have been abused or have trauma or have different things that we have brought into the marriage that, that has, uh, it comes about like there's a wall or rock or spouse becomes so hard to, to, to get into their hearts. With your love, you can crush that rock right down and start focusing on solutions. So three things I want to leave with you. Number one, never give up in your marriage. Never give up hope because hope is something that is going to keep you moving on. In fact, I heard one speaker once says, um, if your finger is above the water in life, there is still hope for success for God to pull you up because God will see that finger. And if you're in that state right now, don't give up hope. Secondly, I want you to focus on um, what can you do to start targeting the issue, that rock that you, that you perceive to be, that you can crush that rock. You can crush it down to the point where it becomes very moldable or it can become useful. And thirdly, see what you can plant on that rock. What can you plan to make it fruitful? What can you plant in your marriage that will bring a, a, a life back into your marriage? I hope that you see the concept of crushing that rock because God do have a plan for your life. Never give up hope. Thanks again for watching. God bless you and have a great day.